Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you course C. And if you scroll down, we are working on lesson seven, creating art with code. So we're going to start with our first video. You can watch this on your own. Um, it's good to understand what you will be using. They'll be talking about angles. I'm going to attach this file as well to your assignment in Google Classroom. This is visualizing angles. So you can see here's the artist that you'll be working with. And these are the different degrees or angles that they'll be turning as they draw their pictures. And this is important because you will be drawing shapes. And so you can refer back to this um, page if you need to. So I'm gonna come here. The other thing I want you to pay attention to is um, you need to understand what pixels are and pixels are the tiny squares in your computer screen and you'll notice that in these blocks it's moved forward by a hundred pixels that means by a hundred squares so in this very uh, second puzzle all you have to do is draw anything you want and just to practice um, and see what these blocks can do so let's say i, I want to test out each block move forward by a hundred pixel I can set a color. I'll put that up there. Choose a nice color. Favorite color is purple. Or you could set a random color if you like. And I wanted to see if I run. Ah, so from where the artist started to where it ends up, this is about 100 pixels. Okay. And what will happen if I say, hey, turn right by 90 degrees and draw another 100 pixel? Let's see if I can make a square. Can you make a square? You can pause my video and create your own picture. Uh, move, turn, move, turn, move, turn. And I'm sure I can do this in a more efficient way uh, by using my repeat block. I just want to test this out. Cool, I just made a square. All right, um, the jump block right here, when you jump, um, it doesn't draw anything. So I'll show you. I'm going to put the jump block right underneath set. So you see how it jumped over 100 pixels and then started drawing the square. I'm going to click finish. For two, you could be as creative as you want. Here we are in puzzle three, and let's make a cage for my pet monster. Drag blocks onto the screen to have the artist draw over the gray lines in the picture. Each line is 100 pixels long. So here, from the artist to the end will be 100, and then he would have to turn, right, um, to face the other direction, and then move forward by another 100 pixels. I'm going to let you work on this one on your own. Let's move on to puzzle four. Here, same idea, okay, with the square. All right, so I want to come to puzzle five because this is a different shape that you'll be working on. And there is a clue in the direction that each side of the triangle is 100 pixels long and has 120 degree outer angles, okay? So this part is the outer angle. Let's see. So move forward by 100, right? Let's run it and just see. Okay, so far it, it, did, it did draw one line. Let's have it go turn left by 120 degrees and move forward by 100 pixels. Let's see if it does the same thing. Awesome. So, so far, so good. So this is another strategy that you can use as you're testing out each block. block. I'm... I know that you might not be learning about angles right now. Um, and so this is probably very unfamiliar and it can get frustrating, but I want you to just try and be persistent. So pause the video if you need to and try each puzzle on your own. Okay, right now we're in puzzle six. And in puzzle six, we uh, need to finish uh, drawing this rectangle around the outside. The long side, which are these, the long side of the rectangle, um, are 200 pixels each. And the short side, which, which are these two left and right side, are 100, 100 pixels. And now, just like in a square, a rectangle 
has 90 degree angles, okay? These are called right angles. So very similar to squares, um, the only thing we would have to change is pay attention to the pixels in this case. So the artist is going on the long side first, so I would come to the pixel and change it to 200, okay? And then turn right by 90 and move forward. But this time when I move forward, okay, I'm going to leave the 100 pixels there because the short side, right, where my mouse pointer is, is only 100 pixel. And I'm going to turn right again. I'm going to move forward by, this time I'm going to change this to 200 pixels, right, because it's going to be on the long side again. And turn right, turn right, turn right, yep. I have to check myself too as I'm doing this. And let's see what happens. You could always pause and try this on your own before you check my solution. Awesome. In puzzle seven, it is the same idea, but this time you will also need to change the move forward block by 200 pixels. And this is just a square, so you will have to type in 200 four times. But I wanna challenge you, can you use a repeat block to draw this square, okay? You can pause this video and I'll show you the solution in a little bit. I want you to try it on your own first. Okay, coming back to the puzzle, if you um, put together your algorithm, let's see if it's the same as mine. Um, we know that the artist has to move forward by 200 pixels, so that number was changed. He has to turn left by 90, and because it's a square, he has to do these things four times. Okay, so let's see if yours match mine. And you can have fun with it by choosing your own color or picking a random color. You could add that to your code. And when we get to puzzle eight, this is the challenge. So we're ready. Now in this challenge, can you figure out how to draw the outline? The long side is 150 pixels and each of the short sides are 75 pixels. This is a challenging one because now you also have to think about the angles and if you need, you can open up this page called Visualizing Angles and think about, hmm, look at the angle of where he's standing. When he gets to the 150 pixel, how can he turn so that he comes down this, um, this line? Now you can uh, maybe use a piece of paper or draw this angle and bring it over to this page to Visualizing Angle. And it looks about, he looks like he has to turn right. It looks like this one, right? Turn right at 30 degrees. I think that one looks very similar to this one or 45, but we could test it out. Come back here. Um, let's say you have him move forward. 150 pixels. He's going to turn right by uh, it says 45, let's see if 45, if, and then he has to move 75. Well, we're going to put those three commands out first to test it out. Click, uh, I'm going to do it at a slower, um, at the turtle mode. Awesome. Okay. So far, so good. So 30, we were guessing between 30 to 45 degrees. And so 30 is a smaller angle and 45 is a little wider. So, all right, I'm glad we got to test that out and 45 works. All right, so I want to challenge you and have you think about it. Please pause the video right here. See if you can program the rest of it and then come back, unpause to see if your code matches mine. All right, when you get to this intersection, um, at this point, when you get to this point, Think about what degree he needs to turn. Now, if you do have a printer, you can print this page out and you can, if it's helpful, you cut the angles out and put it along on top of your um, puzzle. So maybe um, you can see the angles better. Uh, if not, you can do the trial by, by error just by clicking and testing. So where the artist is standing, I know he has to turn right again, but at which angle? Uh, when I click on this, it's either 
90 or 120. So hmm, let's try 120 and see what happens. And then once he turns, this is another short side and the short side is 75. So let me test this out. Reset, run. Ah, so that 120, he turned too wide. So let's change the angle to 90 and let's see what happens. Awesome. It was 90 degrees where he's standing. All right. So we could keep going. Does he have to turn here? Um, doesn't look like another 90 degree angle. It doesn't look like a right angle. So he has to angle himself. Let's see. Um, let's test 45. Turn right at 45. And let's move forward by 150. And let's see what happens. All right, so far so good. All right, we have to turn again this time. Um, thinking we have to turn, let's try 120 and move forward by 75. Let's see. I'm going to speed this up a little more. Ooh. 120 is way too wide of a turn. So let's try 45 again. Okay, so far so good. Um, and right here, I think he has to turn right by 90 degrees again, and then move forward by 75. All right, so far so good. I click try again just so that you can see the blocks that we used. Maybe you can find some patterns if you want to um, play with it, set some new colors, or use a repeat block. Okay, so this is a good time to pause and to think about it. And if you follow this video, I want you to try it on your own once again. So you could throw out all the codes and see if you can program this without any help. All right, boys and girls, I want you to try 9 and 10 on your own. I want to point out that for puzzle 10, there this is more of a multiple choice question. You have to look at the code, okay? Um, you can't click run to test it out. You have, just kind of have to use your imagination or take a pencil and pretend you're the artist and draw this picture. When you're done drawing it, see which one of these choices um, is correct. Did the artist draw a triangle with three equal sides? Did the artist draw a straight line? Or did the artist draw a square? Or you just don't know. But I really want you to think about it and see uh, which A, B, or C uh, was one of the shapes that he drew, OK? And then when you're done, you're going to hit the lesson extras at the flag. And there's two challenges that you can try. And happy coding. I'll talk to you soon.